Hey guys, this is from Ukavitnaya, the World of Tanks, patch 8.9, new German open top tank destroyer line. This time it is uh, tier 10, Waffe Dagger of E100, the, the best of all. Well, not in my eyes, but we will get to that. Let's take a look at the stats first. 202,200 200 points, it's pretty good amount. I don't think, like, the British one is 2,000. The Russians have under 2,000 and only, which I like from the top of my head, I can think of as the same hit points as the Jagdpanzer Auf E100, which is basically a brother of this this beast. Uh, so it's pretty good amount of hit points. And the the weight is 100 tons, which in combination with the speed limit makes this a pretty good ramming vehicle, especially thanks to the outloader, but we will get there. 1200 hit, uh, horsepower engine is pretty good, but you need it for 101 ton vehicle, really. The speed 40, I don't think it can go really 40, maybe down, a little bit downhill, but on the on the flat you will still do over 30. So this is a, isn't as slow as you would ex like expect from this huge beast. It's not really that slow, you can keep up with uh, the rest, you don't have to you you can you can react to the st state of the battlefield basically you don't have to commit to one avenue of attack the traverse speed is pretty good as well pretty good traverse speed for again this is a house on tracks it's a huge it's bigger than most of the other tank disturbs it's really huge you will see it i will com I will, I will show you how it <laughs> the size compares to for example the mouse the hull armor, 200 up front, 120 to the side and 150 back. It sounds pretty good, right? No. No, no, no. It's only, only up here, around here and back here. This, this is a, this is a Swiss cheese. This is a wet paper. 20 millimeters up front, 10 to the side and 8. I guess this little piece is 8 millimeters thin. I will not even say thick. So this is good if, if you are lucky and the shell sways out of course and like falls down and it can bounce but everyone will aim at this piece and you will have to show it most of it because the gun is mounted pretty high in the turret so yeah you can't really like well you can empty your magazine really fast so you can win one on one battle with someone but you will be a wreck after that well, almost wreck so don't count on your armor height the being hidden the, the camo the camo of this thing is of course pretty bad because it's huge but it's like the only armor you have and the distance between you and the target of course the turret uh, i guess thanks to the light construction uh, rotates pretty fast. 24 isn't that slow. It's not like fast, but it's faster than the Waffentrager of Panzer IV. Faster, of course, than for example the Hellcat and others. So it's not that slow. It's not that slow. Uh, the view range is pretty good, even better than on the one on the Panzer IV variant of Waffentrager, and the sig range is again slightly longer. So. Well, all these tests are pretty interesting, but what do we play tank destroyers for? The guns, the guns. And as I said in the last episodes, these guns, I think, are just upgraded version of the ones you will find on both the Rhein, Rhein Metal Borsig, Waffentrager and Waffentrager of Panzer IV. So, actually, they have the same, I think, even, yeah, it's the same gun. And this one as well. These are the same guns which you will find on Waffentrager Panzer IV, but they are improved. They have better accuracy, better aiming time, and they are they have been switched to autoloaders. So this huge beast with these freaking guns have autoloader. You can even see the mechanism inside behind the shield. 
and it kind of bothers me a little bit. This is uh, the 128 millimeter gun. It shows you that you have, of course, five rounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and I guess one is in the breech. And uh, but if you switch to the 15 centimeter, it's the it's the same. It's I think it's yeah, it's bigger, but it still shows five rounds in this magazine, which is wrong. It should be only three. Uh, but otherwise, let's compare the guns side by side. It's the same story. Uh, higher caliber, of course. The the penetration on the 128 millimeter is much better than on the 15 centimeter gun. The damage is fairly close to it, at 560 compared to 750. The the penetration, of course, with the with the APCR is better on the 12.8 centimeter gun. You are shooting heat with the 15 centimeter, which is kind of good, especially if you are like fighting. Oh, you don't need heat. You you could all also use the HE ammo to shoot other weapon triggers of E100 in this in this part. It will kill the crew. It will wreck the tank, and it will do full damage. So yeah, you don't really need the heat. But uh, well, some some prepare some prefer the heat. It was nerfed. A lot. Uh, some prefer prefer <laughs> the APCR. So this is another choice. Like if you want to fire heat or APCR, and the APCR is higher penetration as well. The accuracy on the 128 millimeter gun is pretty pretty good. Also, like 0.29 is fucking great. Aiming time is great as well. I think there are guns that have 1.4 if I'm not mistaken, but this is like almost the best you can get. The 15 centimeter, yeah, the penetration is pretty bad for this tier. The accuracy is good. It's not as bad as it was in On Waffen Dragon of Pencil 4. The aiming time is improved as well, which is which makes bigger difference than the Waffen Dagger of Pencil 4. And it weighs the same as on this guy. So these are the two guns. I again prefer this one, but speaking of the... Well, we weren't speaking really of the... Outloader. This gun, the smaller caliber one, has six shells, and the bigger one has only four. Of course, it does bigger damage, but the well, if you empty both of these magazines, you will do more damage with the 128 millimeter gun because it's six times 560, which is uh, like <laughs> I shouldn't really do this. Well, it's. 3360, if I'm not mistaken, and 4 times 750 is 3000. So, this is even better in this respect, like in a pure alpha damage. It's not pure alpha damage, well, out order alpha damage, <laughs> because it, it lo reloads longer. It's 10 seconds longer to re re reload, which makes, which is like the only upside I can see on the 15 centimeter gun. Uh, but as you can expect, I was playing almost exclusively with this one. I, I tried to dig around with the 15cm one with the heat ammo, but I think the shell is, is kind of takes longer to hit the target and it's not, it's just not as good. So I switched back to the 128mm gun and I don't regret it. Which also means you don't really have to research the 15cm gun. But of course, you have to do it to el elide this tank, destroy, and start training your crew. So you will have to do it. I, I would do it on the Waffen Trigger of Panzer IV because it can see lower tier vehicles than you and still use the 15 centimeter gun in good effect. Now, the size. This thing is huge. How huge? Uh, mouse huge. This is mouse, one of the biggest. I think uh, Tok is bigger, but uh, like this is insanely huge. I think it's longer a little bit, like it's taller by this piece, which everyone can hit, pen and kill. And hmm, it's just, it's just incredibly big. It's a moving house, just like this SU-100Y, for example. This is a huge, huge vehicle, uh, but uh, it can shift fairly decently for a house, as I said. 
and even traverse fairly well and turn the turret pretty well. So it's not all bad, but it's just a huge target and you can't hide that well. Or not nearly as well as this guy, of course. This is just incredibly huge in comparison. The crew, everyone will get camo even though I'm really sure about this with this tank destroyer. Of course, switch whatever you will train on the commander for the sixth sense. And as it is autoloader, you can't fit gun rammer. You can fit the enhanced gun lane, gun lane drive, but why would you even do it? You have 1.5 second aiming time, you don't really need it. So I fitted the Super Heavy Spallrunner because you are a pretty good target for artillery and of course as I said everyone who has at least a piece of HE ammo will shoot it at you <laughs> because this this thing is just magnet for them. So having this guy really helps. 50% armor protection from ramming and explosives and from injuries because almost everyone is up here uncovered so you will lose crew. This is like one of the best modules you can fit. The binox are a given as well. You have to see them before they see you. And like the camo, you can switch swap it for something else, but I'm not really sure what. You don't need the better load capacity because you already have 50 more tons <laughs> to fit on. <laughs> you can't really get. Like maybe the toolbox maybe but if you are shot at you are dead anyway coated optics but i'm not sure if you can maybe you can combine them but you will be mostly stationary thanks to the turret so really like binox spa liner and camelet are pretty decent choice in the end with the ammo i'm running like this but uh, you have to remember you can't really switch the ammo for the situation you are in because you are switching the ammo for the situation which will be in in a minute and a minute is a is extremely long time so like uh, if i'm against a lot of these guys in the end of the battle or i'm in the in the battle line where they are i will if i uh, after i empty my clip i will switch to he which may really really become awkward if some heavy tank comes around and shows up <laughs> But you can at least a little bit tickle him with this. Or where I, when I'm against like in monstrosities like E100 or mouse or something like that, and they are again on my line and I emptied the clip, I will sli switch to APCR. But other than that, the minute long reload time is huge. I'm not used to it. I'm not sure if anything is has longer than this guy, but it can and will kill you. And it's infuriating on small maps like the south coast no not south coast well like on, on a small map you get into position really fast and then you, you can see the enemy tar targets moving along and you can do and you can't do anything you have to wait for the first load and this is really like this is this really pisses me off because if if you were in this guy you were able to shoot at least once maybe even twice Maybe even three times before this guy, like... Of course you could, like, if you started and... But, like, this guy gets there, still has, like, 21, 30 seconds before he reloads. And this guy could shoot three times and hit three targets with the same penetration at the same time. So, I'm not really a fan of these outloaders. And I think... I like these two guys the most. Sturemil is also pretty good. Nashorn, all of these are pretty good. I like this guy the least. And I've seen on the on the message boards that they are about to buff these. I'm not sure if the other ones, but this guy is getting a buff. I'm not sure if it needs it, if you get used to the outloader. But you know, I think it, it needs some kind of buff. I'm not really sure. But I, I've seen from the devs uh, that they will buff the Waffen Draggers really soon. So, yeah, there is one thing I've noticed. If you look at the regular E100 or the Jagdpanzer, uh, they have an extra armor down here. You can even see the mounting holes for it, but there is nothing like that on this tank. I'm not sure why, but I guess it would 
and abruptly like here and wouldn't really fit. I'm not sure, but that's another thing to consider. The side armor isn't as good as it is on the others because it lacks the space armor the other E100 variants have. So, <laughs> now, finally, without further ado, let's jump into a game, which I finally got a good game for you guys to show you. I've played this tank destroyer for several days. Like, I had victories, of course, but I was, like, too far behind or up front or I was destroyed most of the time. So, really, this wasn't really that easy to prepare this for you guys. So, let's go to the game. Well, the map is Westfield, standard battle. We are starting on the north side in our trusty Waffentrager Aus E100. You can see on the other E100 that he has the extra side armor. I was like, uh, the chocolate <laughs> wasn't really, isn't really necessary, but I, I was just so so angry at the real time I just wanted anything that would help me <laughs> so but I think I've made a profit anyway even though I had to rebuy the chocolate for, of course chocolate for 20,000 credits that's a pretty awesome chocolate I would I would like to taste that anyway as you can see turning around to get the better gun depression and I can't shoot that guy because my gun is still reloading. <laughs> okay. There is our friend. I miss once. Not the second time. Not the third time. But the fourth time. And that's two thirds of our magazine. But as the line is kinda. Well, we are one of the <laughs> tank destroyers holding the line. So I will just. It was almost like a snapshot. I will not reload, even though I have only one shot left. Especially because of that Waffen Dragger. I, he's just one shot from me. I was just praying he would sh pop up, which of course he will not do. I'm not sure what hit that guy. I think it was Arty. Well, this, there's only one in this match, so maybe it was a team damage? I'm not really sure. Searching for targets of opportunity. Uh, I've, I, could, I could see him for a while, for a little, for a few seconds. And now I hope again that he will just move up. He did, but I was too late. I really would like to reload. <laughs> like this whole time. I'm not reloaded, I could be. But I couldn't know this a minute ago. There was no possible way for me to know this, so I will put one into that low part and now just hide down here and wait for the minute long reload. You can't see it, but there is, I think, a new feature. I, I'm just <laughs> Looking at the text, I can't shoot it. <laughs> at least the, the other guys can. But look at this. If I was reloaded, I could kill both of these guys. <laughs> and the other guy, I could damage. Like, ah. Oh. I was so, in, so mad. And you can't see it, but I was just like marking them for damage. Like spotting them. Like, shoot this guy, shoot that guy. And the other one. Finally about to, as you can see, I'm not shooting the premium ammo this time. But we are losing. And I was so angry, especially, like, all these targets. So easily to pen. Ah, of course. I7 showing up its unpenetrable turret. Like, now, it's 6 to 6. It will get worse. How are they doing? Decent job. Keeping these heavy slow. But this is another down. Uh, and you and I have five shots only, not six, five shots. So again I have lower damage potential. 
and I've decided to just move down. Because they are, that's Jagdpanzer E100 is keeping them busy, showing them that it's lower races. Right now, it, I think it can survive, <laughs> unlike us up there. That bad jet I really hate. But as I'm moving down, I, I'm getting pretty decent shots at these guys, so I can kill that I-7 and have a damage that I-3. This is a hero. Ah, I, I've lost my depression, but not anymore. This is the, the second kill, and that the Jagdpanzer E100 was the hero of this battle. Like, we were losing. And right now we are winning again. Not sure what our guy is doing, because he just went past him. <laughs> I'm not really sure. What the hell. But... I'm not sure if I am able to kill him. Yeah, I... No, I'm not. That other... weapon trigger of E100 killed him, but paid with his life for that. And as even though we are winning, it's not that, like, huge victory. Our mediums are being picked off by all the tank destroyers on the west. 12 to 10 isn't really particularly great. And again, I have only one shot reloaded. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to shoot it and run away. But they are behind the hill, between the buildings, so I decide screw this, reload. So there will be another minute of not doing anything. But it's still, sti we are still winning. Which is pretty good. I can't do anything about this. <laughs> And, like, but our medium down is he's almost dead, and the other one isn't bad in better shape either, as he's dead. That one heavy up there, you can see around here, I will have to like ping him out so many times for him to even consider moving. Like, it's a heavy, you are only arty. And like that guy will die really soon as well. That medium, and that's one last heavy. Like, uh, why is he still sta He's still standing there. I have to move out to spot. And the and the guys on the enemy team are pretty good. Three and three kills. One of them will pretty soon get the fourth kill. So I can't really do af go after them alone. I have enough damage to kill them, but the like if the if the that star hits me, I'm dead. Simple as that, because for sure he has the premium ammo. Everyone, except me. And maybe a few other guys who are making reviews or are just really trying, testing the tanks and not digging around. But I was, just, I was just waiting here and you can see the heavy finally started moving. I was pinging him <laughs> for like five, six times before he started moving. But... I, uh, this will this will end well. Don't worry, guys. Won't be as easy. That will be a tough spot, but he'll pull through. And he's very slow. <laughs> there. He can see us somehow. It was before our first shot, as well. I guess I wasn't really covered by this bush. It must, that was my bad. And there is the Death Star. The E100 was at full health, so we can't kill him. No, I missed, but three shots are enough. Fourth kill in this battle. Pretty, I, I felt very well. I was one shot for both of them, but pretty good battle. Thanks to the assassin that finally moved out with his E100 2700 hit point beast. After pretty much everyone else was dead. But, good game nonetheless. It has shown that this tank destroyer, if you time the reload times perfectly, can beast anything. But, if you reload too soon or too, too, late, too late, you you are screwed. Like, if, these, if there were no tanks in the city and the mediums could focus me, I would be dead. Long before the road. 
Right now I could just swear. <laughs> I could just swear at them in their side, in their general direction, and they have to pick up an armor for my swears to, for my insults to do anything to them. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I hope you like this video. I worked really hard on getting at least this good of a game. Again, I will put the battle results in the description down below, so you can check them out. I think I've got the master badge first class. It wasn't the the top gun, the top top one, and maybe even the sniper. I've I remember I've got a few badges for this one. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see more World of Tanks, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye bye. Carry your flanks.